Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P, and this is my review about Ugreen 100 Watt wall plug. Let's begin. First of all, I would like to say sorry for my previous video about this product. It wasn't planned, it was a rush job, and I'm sorry that you had to go and watch all 30 minutes of me just plugging and unplugging cables. I know that was a poor job about or with this video. I know I can do better and I definitely will do better with upcoming videos. It's just that video was just me without proper planning doing and going and rushing and just posting something just for sake of posting something. Hopefully this video is gonna be all the way a different side of the coin. This video will give you more information about should you buy this U green, U U green 100 watt wall plug to be used with your Samsung DeX. So let's begin. First of all, the physical size, it's width and depth is 50 millimeters and the length is 70 millimeters. And if you're counting these two, these three pre, uh, prongs, the UK style uh, ball plug, it's gonna go up to 92 millimeters in length. Weight is 273 grams. It is a uh, quite a heavy wall plug. Um, from my testings, I was using it with the extension cord, plugging in vertically and it was it's safe. It just vertically goes in and it was perfectly with no problems. I'm not sure using this somewhere on the wall plug, actual horizontally plugging in the wall plug because of the weight of it. I think with time, it's just gonna fall off and it's gonna start damaging the connections inside the wall plug or actual pins on here. I can't really say because I've been using this for like three, four weeks now, but for long-term use, uh, use case probably is gonna be the issue. The one good thing about this, or well, the one way that I was or planning to use this uh, ball plug is with the extension cable that is attached to my table, and that is connected the horizontally but sideways, and that means that the pins will not go that easily off the wall plug. But obviously don't connect this upside down because it's gonna fall off. The color is darkish grayish color. I can't really t explain what kind of shade of gray this is. I use the color picker app on my phone just to try to pick the actual color of this product. And I'm just gonna leave a code of the color on the screen if you wanna use that for reference. I'm not saying that this color is exactly the color of this product, but it's somewhere close. Going to a spec, um, if you go, I'm gonna go by the information on the box, it says basically it has three USB, uh, USB type C ports and one USB type A port. And information on the box says that USB type C1 and C2 outputs up to a variance levels of uh, volts, volts and amps and goes up to 100 watts max. USB type C port three, it goes all the way up to 22.5 watts of power and USB type A goes up to 22.5 watts of power as well. And the total output of this wall plug is 100 watts. So it's powerful, it's powerful device. It's okay for charging, but it's not for Samsung DeX users. And I will cover exactly what's, how everything is, why I'm saying it's not ideal for Samsung DeX users because there is a, a weird things happening with this device and it's just, baffles me and just confuses me like hell. With a single device testing, I used my phone. Basically, I used phone, the Next Dog 360, and you and Samsung Buzz. And I, then I used my fold connected to Samsung to a Next Dog 360, and then charging Next Dog 360 and, and power pass through turn on to charge my Note, uh, to my charge my Note 9, I'm still missing my Note 9, to charge my phone free. And what you see right now on the screen is a table. Uh, the about the testings I did. So let's go with fold three. So as you can see, uh, pretty much the wa watts output is somewhere around nine watts with the most lowest one, obviously is gonna be USB type A port, which only was doing output of half a watt. With the USB type A port, I stopped, stopped basically testing because I had to use the phone, I had to unplug it. I wasn't patient to wait until it's reached 85% after I think an hour or so. So USB type A port I will not use for, or I'm not suggesting to use for critical devices. It's more something that you're probably gonna leave overnight. Like for example, if you're charging MX Master Bluetooth mouse, you just use USB type A port, plug that in here and just leave it overnight to charge. Then it's obviously your mouse will be charged up to 100% by the time you wake up. Next of 360, um, it's with USB type C ports, was doing about 10, 10 11, 9, 10, 11% per hour. Wasn't really fast, but was was charging it. It's, it's charging Nexo 360 fine. Uh, just I would like that to be faster. With the Fold 3 connected to Nexo 360, my phone was getting charged uh, with a power pass through from my Nexo 360, but the Nexo 360 was slowly losing battery. So it felt like the wall plug supply uh, not supplying enough power to charge my next 360 while it's charging my fold free with the samsung deck setup uh, as you can see on the screen it was doing fine no problems at all doing up to 7.1 7.2 watts of output um, the Samsung DeX was working fine you plug it in i was using dex pad and the skull and co 
USB C USB C hubs uh, for this testing. Everything fine. Dex is fall free is getting charged. Dex is getting triggered. Everything works fine. The Samsung Dex pad, the genuine Samsung Dex pad, wasn't shouting at me that I was using an incompatible wall plug. And the last one was Samsung Dex buds a charging case. Okay, it goes up to 0 0.5 watts. Just fine. This a small device. It's probably a very small battery. Uh, the charging was sufficient to, for me to get this topped up. One thing from a single device testing, I noticed um, that there is a power cut that happens once you connect the device. Basically, in a nutshell, you connect your wall plug into a wall socket, you plug in the device to charge, it charges for first second or two, then it disconnects for about a second or two, and then reconnects or re-pushes the power back in, and then charging starts going with no problems at all. This is the first wall plug that I own that does that. All the rest of the wall plugs, as far as I remember, they all, you plug in and it starts charging with no problem. With this one, doesn't matter which port I was using for single device charging test, you plug in and it just restarts. I don't think this is a big deal, just I decided to mention because it, this is, like I said, the first plug that actually does that. And uh, all the other wall plugs that I was using up to today, um, it's, it's works fine without pro, without this power cut. Now with the multi device testings and a multi device testings. If I'll show you the table first, let's open the table first. So as you can see here, it says C1, C2, C3, and A1 against C1, C2, C3, and uh, and A1. And the charging and the weights, the way I was doing this testing is basically simple. I plug in the full free into USB Type C port, and then plug in anything else for this testing. Obviously, like let's say earbuds into port C2, port C3, and USB Type A ports. And everything works fine. Your end result, yes, all both two devices are getting charged. But the thing that happens while you plug in the second device is that the first device gets a power cut. Again, I don't think this is a huge problem. And result, yes, your both devices will charge. But this is an extremely huge problem for anyone who decide to use this for your Samsung Dex connections. And I will explain to you in a second why this is a huge problem. If we go back to a table. So as you can see here, uh, simple. First, I'm connect anything that's on the left, and then I connect second device anything that's at the top. And for example, if I connect anything to C1 and I'll plug in in C2, as you can see, it says Y for yes, yes, there will be a power cut, and in red color, it's a bad thing. So C1 doesn't matter what you plug in after you plugged in something into a port C1 will give you a power cut. Same with C2, with C3 and USB Type A port, it's a strange thing. If you connect something into port C3 and then you connect something into port C1 or C2, the power will stay without any power cuts. But if you connect something to C3 and then you connect something into port a USB type A port, there's gonna be a power cut. So it's very confusing. Next thing is the huge problem of Samsung DeX. And I tested the some I tested Samsung DeX setup thing with using Samsung DeX pad and a Skull and Co USB C hub. And it is this plug is has the flaw, not the flaw, but it is an issue with this plug that probably flaw and issue is the same thing. Basically, this plug is annoying when if you want to use this with Samsung DeX. So let's say you have your Samsung DeX setup connected and charged via USB Type-C port 1 or port 2. And it works great. Your Samsung DeX is happening. Your Next Dog 360 is showing DeX. Everything is great. And you just notice that your earbuds, let's say, low on battery or your or your next door 360 low on battery. So you connect that device, second device, into USB Type C port 2, 3, or even USB Type A port, let's say. And what's going to happen? The first initial connect, first initial connected device, which in this case is going to be Samsung DeX setup, it will restart. The DeX will get the hard reset. It's the same thing like on Windows. You press the reset, everything is restarts. So that's what's going to happen with the Samsung DeX. And doesn't matter what you will plug in as a second device, while well, the first device was Samsung Dex setup, doesn't matter what you plug in. Uh, I even managed to kill my Samsung Dex setup or UI or restart the Samsung Dex just by turning USB fan on and off. And it is a huge problem because not all the apps, but most of the apps will retain the state where you left off. So let's say you have email open. It's, after Dex restarts, you, you will be able to jump back in into an email page where you left off, but it's not the case with the games on some other apps where you basically just hard reset the app and you're gonna have to start from scratch. And you're listening right now what I'm saying you about to probably say, but hold on, Mr. P, your table was showing that you can connect something into C3 and then connect something into C1 or C2 and it's not gonna be a power cut. Why you don't use C3 for your Samsung Dex? 
The problem is port USB Type-C free will not trigger there. I tried with a DEX pad, I tried with DEX station, Skull & Co, USB-C hub. I tried with about three or four different other brand USB-C hubs. They all just refuse to start Samsung DEX. I'm not saying that this is 100%, you will not get the Samsung DEX triggered via this port. There's probably, there is out somewhere out there USB-C hub that will work with this. But with my testings, I just can't get USB Type-C port free or USB Type-A triggered X. So I'm stuck with USB Type-C port one and port two, which obviously restarts every time I plug in something else. Another thing, a very strange thing that I noticed while I was testing this wall plug is the Next Dock 360 charging. This, this could be a reason because of the Next Dock 360 needs, requires a certain way of charging, etc. It's just a weird thing was happening. While I was charging my Next Dock 360, by USB tape a port. I just had to charge it. Basically, I left the charging. Uh, I knew I will not or won't gonna use Next Door 360 for another two, three hours. I thought, okay, let's top it up, let's top the up the battery of the Next Door 360. So I plugged into a USB tape a port. Everything was great. And I found out and I noticed that if I while I'm Next Door 360 is charging by USB tape a port and I connect anything else into USB port, USB type C port free, Next Door 360 completely loses charging power. And according to my USB meter, which I had according to my USB Type-C meter, is actually reverse the power back into the wall plug. I'm not sure if that's actually what's happening. It's just weird. And if I can disconnect any, everything else, if I disconnect the second device that I just plugged in and I will leave an Exo 360 charging, it will not go back for like another 10, 15 seconds. After that, the power goes back into an Exo 360. So, I'm just confusing. If I'm charging my Nexdo 360, I plug in anything else into this wall plug, that some, uh, the Nexdo 360 just completely loses charging. Uh, why? So for the end, do I recommend this uh, wall plug to be used for Samsung DeX? Obviously, no, because Samsung DeX restarts. But as a, gen as a general, just charging wall plug. And my answer would be no, as it's feels like every time when I want to use this, it's like I'm disarming the bomb. I'm not sure which wire to cut. Will it work if I connect this device to this port? Or will the device that I'm charging currently will work if I'm going to connect something else? Will it work if I'm going to have to switch around? If my lab dock is charging, if I plug in, if I, if my lab dock is charging and it, while I'm plugging something else into charge, it just, it's, it just feels very confusing. I don't want to keep asking myself all these questions when I just want to plug and play. Well, in this case, will be plug and charge. Just device, just plug in, it's getting charged and fine. But I ending up doing this, I don't know, ritual dancing routine every time I want to use this, um, this wall plug when I just want to plug and leave my stuff charging without doing anything rain dancing in front of this wall plug. But overall, well, it charges stuff. It just you need to uh, you need to do a voodoo dance every time you want to charge some stuff. Anyway, thank you much for watching. I hope you found this video more helpful than my previous one. And thank you much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.